you can apply many configurations to Ingress, according to your preferences. To retrieve the database from different locations, simply change the database information. Go to the System Settings tab. Click Database Configuration and key in the username and password of the MySQL database. Click Test Connection once they are filled in. If the connection fails, change the properties accordingly. Click Save for changes to take effect. To back up the data stored in the MySQL database, click Browse and select the Output File location. Click Backup to proceed. You can also restore the file by clicking Browse at Database Restore File section to locate the database and clicking Restore. Data stored in the database can be cleared or initialized. Simply select the relevant data from the right window and click on Initialize Database. If you wish to configure the date, time and other display settings, do so in the System Parameter Settings tab. You can also tick the Allow Wigan Settings checkbox for it to appear in the Devices tab. You can customize or add data fields at the User's Information page. The additional fields will then appear in the Users tab. Fill in the company and local reseller info on the left and right panels, respectively. Also, add your company's watermark in every report. Simply tick the checkbox for Show Watermark in Report to do so. Ingress supports multi-client login, meaning that besides the administrator, other privileged people can still log into Ingress to use its functions. You must create new roles first before setting up user accounts. Go to the System Users tab and click at User Roles icon. Click the Add Role button and select which modules you want to allow for the particular group. You can also edit and remove the role by clicking on the buttons below it. Now you can proceed to create a new user. Go to the User Account tab and click Add Account. Insert the username and password. Assign a role to this user from the drop-down menu. The user can also access Ingress via fingerprint instead of password. Click OK to save. You can configure different types of events to trigger alarms in Ingress, send notifications to specific recipients via SMTP email server and push notifications via Ingress Mobile. To learn more about these settings, refer to our Ingress user guide. Network cameras can be added to stream video in Ingress for monitoring purposes, either by playback or live view. However, you must first configure its login details. Ingress currently supports all cameras linked to Milestone and Epi Camera. For Milestone, it is a server-based software, whereby a server is needed. Select Milestone under Network Camera Integration and insert the IP and port number of the Milestone server. Click Test Connection to make sure the connection is established. Click Save. For Epi Camera, it is web-based, whereby, a server is not necessary. Select Epi Camera under Network Camera Integration and click Edit. Insert the username and password of your Epi Camera account. Click Test Connection to make sure the connection is established. Click Save. 